Alright, so here's the truck after the derby. It's been about, I don't know, five days. Sorry if the quality isn't so well. My camera's messed up, so I gotta look at it from the side instead of the back. <clears throat> well, they did a pretty good number on it. Broke the upper ball joint on this side. The tire was laying down flat. Pushed my cab in. Box is a little messed up. Ugh. Pushed my dash in, bent it. Push the cabin all along here. Rear axle's actually moved over about you know, a couple inches. Tailgate and everything and all this is pretty much the way I wanted it. It folded in nice. It's going, trying to bend up, so that's good. Have to replate that next year. Cut some more of this out and get the axle slid back over the right way. And uh, the whole front end of the truck is pushed over the frame. See this pulley in here? I don't know if you can see it, but that current, the crankshaft pulley on the front is supposed to be in line with that dip in the frame cross member there. Well, it's kind of over there. It's more in line with my power steering pump now. They moved the frame over a good oh, six inches. You can see the speed bar link or whatever this fucking thing is. It used to be right about in here, and now it's over there. The truck only steers to the left because if you have the wheel turned all the way to the right now, it's straight. I pulled all my stuff over that way. Let's see if I can get the hood off. Oh, hold on. My steering box is all pushed off to one side. Tugging on the hose pretty good. Yeah, my fan's really not blowing on anywhere it's supposed to be. resting on the damn header. Bent my headers in. But it still runs. Still drives. Doesn't steer so well. We'll have her fixed up again for next year.